Hi, this is going to be the start of my Transformers series. So as an added little bonus, I am going to teach you and your children how to make your own paper Transformers that actually transform and combine together if you know how to do it right. So all you need is a pen what I call as quadratic paper <laughs> and scissors so um, this is how you do it first what you want to do is you want to draw a long pen let's see let's try this one first what you want to do is you want to draw um, you want to take the measurements you want to draw kind of like an now this is what it looks like now so I have drawn it I have drawn it is that even the correct word I have drawn I have drew it I drew it <laughs> sorry it's too early in the morning um, and now I'm gonna cut it I'm gonna show you how it transforms Ta -da! oh and I have glasses Look, see, so now this is my paper transformer. Hello, how are you? I've cut them out. And notice I cut up the little top of the head, so this bends back. So this is him in robot mode. You can even flop these little things back in his leg. Um, and now I will show you, so that here it is. So now you see. I bet I put this forward. Maybe I pull this back. I pull his head back. Then I fold his arms. I fold his arms back. And then I fold his legs forward. And then I fold them back to meet. And you can play around with different figures. You can um, you can make a cat transformers you can make elephant transformers it just depends on the extra appendages that you add and ta-da it's a roadster um, so like if you wanted to um, see so, and then you fold these forward and then you have your little roadster uh, and kids can have hours of fun making their own transformers be like hey I'm coming for you um, now, if you wanted to make a cat, for instance, uh, what you would do is you would add extra appendages here. You would have extra appendages here for the four legs, extra appendages here, extra appendages here, and all you do is you just fold and tuck and hide the legs. And this little compartment here, you would make it into a cat-like head, and then you would fold this back. And you could even, with tape, you can even add little teeth. You know, you can add little teeth so it can be like, you know. So that's how you make your own transformer. Now, I also told you that you can combine these together. So how do you do that? So what you want to do is um, see this leg, right, or this arm. What you want to do is you want, if you build a bigger character that this wants to connect to, or to right here, um, then what you would do is you, this is this leg or the arm of the other bigger transformer. You fold it, and you cut it to the dimension of the head or the arm that you want it to connect it to. Um, and then you just slip this in here Let's see if it works and ta-da you have a leg and so it becomes and then you can fold these back and be like now I am bigger you know or if you want it to be a part of the arm then you would fold these appendages here and then just slip it in here I think you would have to cut it sideways. Let's well, let's cut it sideways. Um, 
And these are all these things that you can figure out. Play around with your cutting techniques and your origami. And you will come up with the answer. So this is a kind of a rinky dink little arm. But I'm sure that you can come up with something better. You know, this is, oh, look, I'm the arm. Maybe the appendage of the arm. But ideally, the arm would go right up here. And it would be much longer. And maybe the legs could combine together. So um, make your own transformers, show it to me, and I will give you kudos to that. Thanks.